Hey, what's up guys? It's Scarlet. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is finally the day. I think I think I have the build. You know what I'm saying? And it is pretty much 6 in the morning Contract right now accepted. as I'm recording this. So give me a second. Let me switch that back on for my own, you know, personal enjoyment of the game and fun. So, let's start off with what is this gun and why the hell did I buy this as a mythic in the first place? So there's three reasons. One, look at this skin. Okay, number two, obviously, is because it's a fucking dragon, okay? This dragon is literally so magnificent. Like, there's no shot you guys actually say that this gun is not worth the amount of CP I spent on it. Plus, we also kind of did get lucky on the upgrades part. So, the other third reason is that this mythic is a completely unique mythic on its own in terms of kill effect changes, okay? Now, okay, no. Based on the number of kill effects or kills that you have, as you guys see, it'll go from base version to Springborn, and then it'll go to Summer's Rain, and then it'll go to Autumn's Song, and then it'll go to Winter's Eld, which I... Personally, feel like that is the best one and the first one, the base one, that is really cool. So the cool thing about this is that when it reaches Winter's Eld, it'll actually return back to Summer's Rain, if I'm not wrong, or the first base kind of camo. So that's another cool thing. Other mythics, if they ever reach their final form in terms of colors, they don't restart. They will stay on the max, I think, effect, which is kind of like, you know, a little fancy stuff. You know, I'd say it's kind of cool to see new little changes in Mythics that makes people actually have some differences, like from the M13 days to the Type 19 days, you know? So first of all, let's get this right on. I'm going to be playing with the AR mode first. This is the AR mode build. Now, a lot of people that don't have a red dot on this weapon, because obviously, as you guys know, I give recommendations, not just for Mythics, but for also default users. Just remove slate of hand. You don't need that extra reload, okay? You already got a fast reload mag. This shit's already giving you 10% reload time, plus 18 bullets. What more could you want? So, start off with that. Secondly, do not, and by every means possible, do not use this suppressor. 18 ADS time and 8 bullet speed is not worth anything here, okay? Don't care what any other pro player tells you shit, trust me on this. Everybody's gonna follow my shit in the end. Because I've seen so many pro players create their own builds, and then a week later, they all change their minds and like, okay, you know what, that other build was good. And turns out that other build was technically mine that I had made. Obviously, I don't announce this shit because I don't give a shit. If you like my build, you like my build, you like your own build, that's how you play your game. That's completely fine. So this is the most aggressive playstyle for the AR mode. Now, why do I say AR mode? Because this thing is a very fancy gun that comes with 45 extra bullets and 20% bullet impact. This gun is capable of wall banging, okay? And the 20% extra bullet impact may be not so visible on the enemy's kill cam, depending on, like, you know, toughness and the steady stock options. But the fact that you can make it either an assault rifle or an LMG or this fancy one right here. This is a sniper mode. So I will be showcasing all three modes. We are starting definitely with this. Ignore me being training mode. That's when, we, you know, I was trying to check out some stuff. So, to make this really fun, we're going to do a free-for-all. Because free-for-alls are pretty fast, and I could showcase a bit of the aggressive gameplay that this gun is capable of. And I wish I would love to show you guys the BP skin. I think if there's a chance, if there's a chance. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. It's not really the most important to showcase off the draw. There's a fucking dragon. A literal dragon on the Battle Pass skin. So if you own the Battle Pass skin, and you can't, like, you know, get the Mythic, don't be stressed, bro. You're still on the same league, it's just, mine got more effects, you still have a Dragon, okay? It's still a W in my eyes. And obviously, the lovely sword that people are saying is paid to lose, and I've seen so many people buying it. And I also told everybody it'd be a paid to lose thing, and people still bought it. So, you see, guys? That's just how things go. Okay, now if we're going to be lagging right there, I'm not going to like it. Okay, you guys saw that wall bang? You saw that? You saw that broski? 
Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys that. Check this out. Check that fucking reload, bro. That reload literally like summons the fucking magazine. Excuse my language, but if you've been on my channel, you know. You know how it be, bro. It is a bot lobby as well, so I should be able to showcase some... Nah, shotgun user, nah. That one we're not showcasing. Right. Check that dragon out. That dragon is magnificent. You cannot tell me otherwise. So watch the colors, guys, okay? Right now we are in autumn. Now we're in winter. Okay? Now, it's not per one kill. I think it's per every two kill. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it. But I would like to think it's per two kills. Okay, that one I'm literally not even trying. Because he's one shot. Can you just die, Broski? Okay. Ignore what happened there. Hey, do we get a fancy? Oh, right, right, right. I even forgot to show you guys that. Okay, okay. Let's first get this to change, maybe? There you go. So it's three kills, I think, because I got one. I did not get one down there. So I think it is two kills. Okay. Don't quote me on how many kills. But basically, as you guys saw, it went from winter, being its last form, to green now. So, another thing that I've noticed about this mythic that is very new different is this watch it's red right now so I swap my weapons okay of course he's going to smack my head it's red and then do you see that it was like on the base form because that was the previous one I think I can better showcase this if there's a different color okay white watch did you see? There was a bit of red, the previous form that was there when you swapped weapons. That little detail, I'm in love with. Whoa, broski, we have to see this shit. Because bros literally had like blood kill movement there. And obviously, what well, the game does get over, let's showcase the weapon inspection. Which I think, in my opinion, is very unique. It may not be all that. Okay, that shotgun is going to kill me. Bro, let me just do my weapon inspection. This kid is literally hunting me. It's a bot. I know it's a bot, guys. Chill. Let me have my fun. Do you see how huge that dragon is? And do you see the birds on the side? If I'm not wrong, I think it's the winter form that actually has the birds, which is kind of funny, you know? But generally... The skin, the gun itself, overall, I think Type 19 is a pretty good gun. So, you might see it a lot in ranked, especially with Mythic users. And if you are that one person that needs to use a red dot, because you can seem to understand the default sights. I get it, you know, not every person needs to have or get used to the iron sights for the default weapon. I personally love iron sights of weapons, and that's why I generally use iron sights. And that is why before I buy a medic, as you guys can see, I have named my weapon already. He is called Shao. For anyone that plays Genshin, yes, that is the Shao that I'm relating to. And uh, why would I bring another game here? Because it literally fits the same theme, and I did play Genshin, and I don't want to say I continue playing it because of some certain things that are happening around town. Nice work. But basically, uh, it does remind me a lot about Shao, and I decided, you know what? This is my weapon, I get to decide what I want to name it, so I call it Shao. Why not? So that is a bit of the AR mode, and you can see, like, the accuracy is good, and it is trying to be good, you know? So, next up, I'll save this one for last. How about I show you guys the sniper mode? So the sniper mode is pretty funky. It is not the best build I have in my mind. But it is somewhat of a quick build, and that will help you direct your shots much faster and at least get your kills faster. Now, I'm hoping we get a few players in this lobby, so at least there's a bit of, like, extra stress. Which I was kind of hoping I'd get a free bot lobby right now in the sniper mode. But otherwise, it's fine. We will still be able to, you know, shred and stuff. I also like how it still has the mag drum mode, even though I'm not on mag drum mode. I'm 100% certain with I'm not on mag drum mode. So, let's see how this goes down. Okay, so there is one player. I'm so sorry, Frank. You are not going to like me, bro. And it's high-rise. Okay, God literally sent this map for me because we're on sniper mode. 
And yes, the scope is a custom scope that only comes with the mythic variant. But, listen to me, free to play players, no you can death. also use the 3x scope, just the way I do. Okay, there's one there, and there's one there. I'm not planning to go for that one there. There's Frank, isn't it? No! The bot annihilated me. Lol. Isn't it fun when everybody targets you, including the bot? That's a player, and he just stood there. Poor guy, man. I mean, I saw you reconnecting to the lobby, but, you know. Yes, it is a one-shot to the head. That's why it's a pretty toxic gun, because from an AR, you go to this. That's pretty wild, you know? Check that out. No, leave me alone! Let's reload this. The good news also is that it has really good hip fire at close range. So sometimes you need to hip fire with it. Take your chances, okay? With the build I've given you, it's not that accurate. But I would like to say it, it sometimes does hit straight if you're really patient, okay? So if you need that one bullet to hit, hip fire is it, <clears throat> excuse me, it will do the job. It may not be the best of jobs because of the barrel. If you do want to primarily use the sniper mode in a hip fire mode, you can also do that. That's the fun Three. thing about this Air weapon. Is ready. You can just make it exactly how you want it. Okay, I missed that one. Thanks for your head, buddy. Thanks for your head, buddy. Ready. Thanks for your head, too. Wow. Who threw that cluster? Who's got those balls? Who's throwing clusters? He stole my kill. Where is he? That loser. He stole my kill. Don't steal my kill. Peasant. Oh, my God. I forgot, like, low kill Trading IQ players would just always have their scopes open. So, it's alright. But there he is, I'm pretty sure, yep. Okay, that was nice. I can get him, I can get him, 100%, 100%. I won't cheat, no flashbangs. A straight aggression, there we go. Now, as you guys also notice, I'm using the hip fire mode so that I could use my right hand, where you guys can see, to control where this needs to hit. Okay? So don't generally use the hip fire to turn around because you can't turn and keep clicking, okay? That's why I generally like to use this button as well, the ADS button already, and then use just the control and hip fire. So if anyone's trying to figure out my playstyle, I am not a hider, bro. If you're better than me, you can perfect this playstyle. Go for it, man. I do not care in the slightest. In fact, more power to you. Are you going to come up or do I need to come down? Okay. There we go. That's 19. And that's the sniper mode, guys. Like, they had a lot more advantages. This... This evil cast guy had a shotgun, I think. I was actually considering him to win, even though it is high-rise. As you guys see, that scope has changed its variance to the default scope. That is not supposed to happen, naturally. It's supposed to keep the mythic look, but I'm pretty sure that's just a little mythic attachment kind of change or a spectator glitch. Now, for the weapon to show you its strongest form. Oh my god, this weapon is absolutely fun to use, especially as a mythic variant. If you do not own the mythic variant, once again, I cannot emphasize. Try and get it. If you cannot get it, it's alright. You don't have to get it, okay? I'm not trying to force people into getting it. All I'm trying to say is give the Type 19 a chance and try and learn the iron sights. You learn those iron sights, you'll be as good as us, okay? It is really good at killing. It has a very fast kill rate. This dude's already shooting at me. I haven't even spawned Broski. So this is now the 75 mode. Mag drum. Obviously, you guys can always just see that the attachments that I have. Now, I just hope these guys aren't going in a full melee spin because I'm going to be pissed.
Okay, no, he's just shotgunning. That, that's cool. That's fine. Respect, Broski. Okay, of course he's there following me. Okay, Broski, I got you. Ooh, that was a nice one tap right there. Okay, I don't know why the bot's targeting me as well. Just because I one shot your Broski at the back there. Doesn't mean you could just annihilate me, bro. Okay, there's also a camper on this side. Got it. Roger that. No, leave me alone, broski. This one kid just keeps hunting me. And he's annoying. Is that a K9? Okay. I would like to know why I did not see him earlier. As you guys see, you can really be aggressive with this 75 mag. Because number one, it doesn't take that much ADS time. Number two... No! Okay, this kid is too lucky. He's probably going to win this. Plus, I did start late, so, you know, benefit of the doubt. No! Okay, yeah, expected. I'll show you guys one more round, one more round. Wait, hold up. Ah, uh, he left the game. Ugh, cringe. Very cringe. Come on, game. Excuse nice me if you guys could hear me drinking. It is an energy drink, don't worry. It is 6am and I know it's probably wild to be drinking energy drink right now. But anyways, the main point is this gun can become really toxic and I hope it's a mode that I can actually showcase how the weapon, like the wall bang is. And you know, you could also just remove lightweight grip and use FMJ, which will increase the amount of wall penetration you could do. But I really feel like you don't really need all of that. It's I think I would sacrifice more time on the on the ADS time. I mean I would sacrifice more of the wall banging onto the ADS time so that I have a faster aim because keep in mind this is an LMG mode, meaning it is supposed to be naturally heavier. I won't be surprised if next season they add a bit more ADS to this as a nerf. Because Free for all. this magazine's pretty toxic, okay? I'm actually expecting it to get nerfed <clears throat> one season in. So, next season, if it gets nerfed, I'm glad I made this video. There's no escaping death. Broski, I swear I heard someone doing the weapon inspection for this weapon. Or was that just the tune that it plays in the beginning? Both is fine. If there's another mythic user in the lobby, more power to you, buddy. No! I can't believe this kid always wins, man. By just one bullet. W. Nice, I was gonna look right into that, because I deserve that. Okay, please. Oh, it's a DRH. Okay, of course the bots have a DRH. One, two, three, okay. So apparently the DRS's fire is faster than the Type 19, apparently. Or is it just bots that are always cracked? So that's another thing that has been happening. A lot of us have been really frustrated with the bots lately, whether it be public lobbies, whether it be ranked. They've just gotten very unrelatable. It does not feel player-like at all. It does not feel like any help comes from going up against bots. It's basically a free game and just to get kills, but at the same time, you can't even nuke anymore if they're going to be headshotting you from like that game. See, look at this dude. Look at this dude, bro. Did he just be my first person? And then there's some of them that walk up to you like this and they can't affect you. So, I don't get it. See, that's a headshot. The other one's targeting me, this one just insta-targeted my head. So... I can't even hear them as much as I'm talking. I can hear footsteps, but I never hear bot footsteps that approach me. Unless they jump or something. I bet you this kid is camping again. Oh, he's camping again. When he sees a mythic, <laughs> he thinks he's going to get away with it. Nobody. That is not your mythic. I heard you, buddy.
Once again, that's not your mythic, buddy. You won't get to use it. Not even once. GDs, guys. That is a GDs. Even though the, like, even, like, that player was kind of a bot. It was kind of a bot lobby. Let's be real. Like, the bots have got more kills than him. He probably got distracted by my weapon as he picked it up, or they picked it up. I would like to think he's a he because... Let's just say because, okay? <laughs> That's all I would like to say. But yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I just wanted to showcase how this weapon is, and I've been taking long because I really wanted to experiment with this gun. There's too many builds, as I mentioned. You could make the sniper mode a full-on hipfire mode by just changing one, two things. The grip barrel, change it to accurative supportive long barrel. I knew that was coming from a mile away. And you go to the under barrel and you add laser integrative foregrip and you replace it with the lightweight. Okay? Wait, no, this is not the build. Let me just go to the DMR build first. Right here. Okay, so you remove polymer grip. You add this, laser integrative full grip. Since we don't really need to use the grip barrel and we have the NI, you know, NIIS, which is the North Industry Integral Suppressor Barrel, okay? So this build is generally more better for hip fire. As you guys can see, the 80% accuracy is kind of good. The reason I'm not using is because there is a laser pointed on full time. So that is up to you. I was using it. For a very long time, even on the LMG build. But I slowly went from accurate of supportive long barrel to the grip barrel. And I was like, okay, those headshots are a bit more cleaner. The ADS bullet spread seems to be a bit thinner than the accurate one. Uh, the accurate one is more of a range build. But you can see it drops your ADS. I mean, your accuracy pretty wildly. If it's going to 40 and I have 55 right now, I think I'd rather have the 55, right? So... The only problem with the grip barrel is you cannot add a under barrel. That is because it comes with an under barrel as a mod with the barrel. So that's another fancy thing. There's also a barrel that comes with a built-in suppressor. Like the Node Industry Integral Suppressor. It has an ADS build. So if you were to make this a full-on SMG, you can. So this gun has very many playstyles. And I think as a mythic for anybody, this is an amazing mythic weapon. Plus, overall, the default weapon is pretty solid. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, the season is clear for now, and there's not much I have left to showcase besides, I guess... Hmm, maybe the sword. Maybe, you know, a little more of the sword action and stuff. But otherwise, that is it for now. I think we might be able to send in a video maybe next season when the new season starts, which is probably in... 15 so two weeks from now but i will try before two weeks into making a video a little gameplay so that you Contract guys can have something to watch in the meantime and i'll try make it a bit interesting br is not loading so i can't be you know in a chill vibe anymore or making the video seem calmer most of them will be very aggressive because this is mp playstyle. i know i'm not also playing ranked because that saves me the whole impression vibe because I, whenever i'm on video it will just not work okay so save me the whole oh it's not ranked you're not playing that well it's public lobbies anyone can do that in public lobbies my guy you enjoy your game let me enjoy my game otherwise guys stay smiling i'll see you guys in the next one